family. Maybe chastity killed him while Eli burgled the place. Could have been in it together, I suppose. Either way, we need to find out quickly. We have the rest of the day to charge them or let them go. You're going to have to give her her lessons on her own today, love. You must have a lot on your mind. <sighs> a note. Could you tell us what this is, please? For the purposes of the tape, DCI Barraclough is showing Miss Dingle item SE3, which is a bronze statue of a horse's head. Tacky one at that. Much as we appreciate your artistic appraisal, we were actually wondering what you know about it. Never seen it in my life. That's strange, because it was kept in a bedroom at home farm where you used to live. It's a big house. Loads of bedrooms, loads of stuff I've never taken notice of. You might remember this. Tom King fell to his death after he was hit over the head with it. I know nothing about that. So you maintain you've never seen this statue before? No, I haven't. Then how do you explain the fact that we found your fingerprints all over it? What? I can't explain it. You must have some idea why your fingerprints are on the statue. I must have picked it up after the murder. Really? How would you have got hold of it afterwards? <sighs> Eli showed it us. It's with the other stuff that he nicked from Home Farm. But Eli denies stealing anything. Yeah, well, he's hardly going to hold his hands up to it, is he? So you're now saying that Eli did commit the burglary at Home Farm? <sighs> oh, may Zach forgive me. He pocketed some stuff at the wedding and then showed me a couple of days later. She, she can do us for theft, but I swear, I swear to you that neither of us knew that that... He's lying. Weird lie to come out with. We definitely have a match on the weapon. Forensics haven't found any skin or hair fragments, but they are positive the shape of the bruising matches. Of course it does. Dingle was just panicking. He was trying to cover his own tracks. For who, though? Himself or chastity? I reckon we got enough to charge both of them. Yeah, we thought we had enough when we charged Bob Hope. Yeah, but this is different. Everything points to it being one of them. Yeah, well, we haven't found Terry Woods yet. Jamie Hope is still a possibility. And the immediate family haven't done badly out of the father's demise either. None of their prints is on the murder weapon. Yeah, well, Chatterty claims she touched it after the murder. What, you believe her? Oh, something doesn't add up here. Why haven't forensics found any trace of Tom King's DNA on the statue? One of them must have wiped it clean. Yeah, you tell me. How do you manage to wipe the DNA off a murder weapon at the same time leave the fingerprints? Does it matter? Chastity concocted a false alibi. Eli's lying about the burglary, and we can connect them both to the murder weapon. If that's not enough to bring a charge, I don't know what is. It was very good of you to come. No, no. I'm telling you, I didn't wipe anything. I picked up the stupid statue for a second, and that was all that I did. You're lying. I'm not. You lied to us before about your alibi. Yeah, well, that was a mistake. I just panicked. And why would you do that? Unless you were guilty. Because I knew how it'd look. I did hate Tom's guts, and, and there were times when I felt like I could have murdered him, but I swear on my life, I didn't do it. Well, let's see what a jury has to say about that. Why are you doing this to me? There were hundreds of people that wanted Tom dead. Terry Woods, he threatened Tom earlier on in the day and I saw him hanging around the wedding. Why aren't you looking for him, eh? He's the one that's fled the country. For the record, Sergeant Exley is entering the room. I have Carl King at the front desk. He says he needs to see you urgently. We're in the middle of an interview. We can wait. She's not going anywhere. Interview terminated at 16.30 hours. <laughs> You've got it all wrong about the statue. I don't think so. Forensics matched it exactly. They're certain that's what killed him. How do they know that it wasn't the other one? What other one? That statue was one of a pair. They used to be kept on the mantelpiece in Dad's room. You've got one of them. Where's the other? Exactly. You tell me. Manufacturers confirm those particular statues were always sold in pairs. Yeah, that doesn't prove anything. They could have lost the other one years ago. That's not what Carl says. Yeah, he could be lying to protect his girlfriend. And Matthew King also remembers seeing two statues in the house. 
And we've thoroughly checked the house to see if it's still there. And searched the dingles. There's no sign of it anywhere. Yeah, but I didn't think there would be. If it had been there, we would have noticed it earlier. Well, the fact it's missing doesn't prove it's the murder weapon. Yeah, but it would explain the lack of evidence in the statue we found. And why Eli thought he stole it before the murder. And everything else that's been puzzling us today. Yeah, we've obviously got it wrong. Again, every time we seem to be getting somewhere with this case, it, it just seems to fall apart and we're back to square one. Well, we know more than we did and we know what we're looking for now. Well, that may be the case, but I don't think Vaughan's going to be too impressed. Just because Vaughan is pressuring us to get results, it doesn't mean we have to rush into giving him the wrong ones. I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to find out who did this. One pair of earrings, one half-eaten pack of chewing gum. Just sign there and you're free to go. For now. We got your fingerprints on file, and if anything else turns up, they'll be the first we check. I'll make sure you check them against the right thing next time. Mm. Hey! <laughs> I knew you'd come through for us somehow, eh? Hey, it weren't me. You don't thank me we're down to Carl. He sorted it. Oh. I knew it were you. I don't know how you did it, but you just saved our lives. Hey, come on, then. Come on, <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> I can't believe we just let them walk. Yeah, we don't have much choice. Eli's still going to court for the burglary, though. So what now? We look for the real murder weapon. <laughs>